Or you know, uh, Happy News yeah. Bailey here just had a cute little story about uh, people with dementia. Their quality of life is much better if they have socialization. And most of them get, are you ready for this? Two minutes a day. Now, we all know my dad got more than two minutes a day. And we know why. Nobody denies what I did for my dad, and yet in the same breath, these hateful Antifa women stick their head in the sand about what happened to me in that jail, what it's really all about. You guys, I do not have any effing shampoo. I have $2. Do I feel like I'm begging? No. Am I asking for help? Yes, I'll accept help from anybody who wants to bring shampoo. I'm not going to have any food. I no longer have food stamps. I thought my house would sell in a week. I thought my brother would buy it, but he might be going to prison. I don't know. I don't know. My family's very, very sick in the head, extremely sick in the head. As this comes out, we're all going to find out how sick in the head my family is, both sides. Um... Dementia. I'm, I'm glad I improved his life. See, that's the thing, everyone. I feel good with myself. I feel good with God. When I thought I was going to be murdered in the jail, I simply accepted it. And I hoped it was going to be quick. And I thanked God for a fulfilling life. And I meant it. Um, and it changed me forever. Sure did. I mean, I, I can't even form relationships. Can't find work. I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm going to get a lot of money. People are going to go to prison, though, first and foremost. I mean, prison. If somebody said, Dave, you can either get a million. You can either get a million and they all go to prison or you can get a hundred million and only one goes. I'll say, I'll, I'll just take the million. Please send them all. I said, that's why they had to reopen Thompson because they're going to have to put all of Rock Island County somewhere. I'm not even kidding. And you guys know I'm not kidding. I already know that there's some of you that know I'm not kidding because you've shown up at my house. <laughs> I haven't yet named the other kingpin company that's involved in all this. They've given themselves away by looking at my LinkedIn profile. I'm not using LinkedIn anymore. Uh-uh. Nope. And I closed my Indeed account because there's no point whatsoever to looking for work. So I'm just going to go on disability whenever I get to wherever I'm going. But let's be realistic. I'm not going to have to do that either because a bomb's going to drop any second. On. You know what's so funny? I logged on to Lincoln the other day. When I say a bomb's going to drop any second, I mean in terms of the filth in this town. And I'm probably going to look like at least a pretty good reporter, if nothing else. Um, it's so funny. I logged on to LinkedIn yesterday. And it said, start negotiating your salary for senior reporter. And I thought, oh, my, um, senior reporter. And then I thought, is that an age joke? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> thanks for uh, amusing me. Does everyone see Jack and the Beanstalk back there rising up? But that, that plan, I swear to God. You know what? I like my living room just as it is with the few items I have remaining. I sure do. You never know what tomorrow's going to bring. You don't know. We don't know what today's going to bring. I think it's awfully cuckoo that somebody shot in Rock Island drives themselves to the Moline Fire Department for help when they could have just gone to Trinity, which is where they were taken anyway. Cuckoo! See, I would have reported the story that way, but in a way that I would have gotten by with it. And that would have been the beauty of how I would have done it. I would have I would have said they were asked this and the response was either nothing or refused. Yet, yet, yet. And then people can figure it out for themselves because people are a little smarter than you think, but you at least got to give them information to work with. Have a good one.